Well, first of all, you know, right now we're in four different locker rooms. I think, you know, just finding a good supply of music before practice and cell phones playing music and uh, learning to warm up before practice and learning to be close as a team, you know, via Zoom versus, you know, obviously in-person things. So, you know, I think, I think the best thing about them so far through these weeks is just their sense of humor. I think they've really, uh, obviously we are dealing with a lot of serious things and we need to make sure we're doing what we're safe, but uh, I think they've really enjoyed being together on the ice. I think they've found ways to, to have fun, to have jokes, whether it's a Snapchat uh, or text messages or, you know, little things that they're doing as a team to, to make sure they're staying connected and laughing. So it's been good. It's been very positive. They've had a great attitude and it's been, it's really been fun to work with them so far. I think, I think, you know, with our program, we've had some success the last three years. Um, we've been through, you know, not making the playoffs. We've been to making it to the, the, the Final Four championship weekend for Hockey East twice. So I think that's the biggest thing, just knowing what it takes to have some success, knowing what it takes, you know, what, knowing what happens when you don't have success, maybe what was missing. Uh, you know, they were they following up a very big senior class uh, graduating last year. So. Uh, I think they're excited for that leadership role, but that the experience of, of of going through those ups and downs, I think, is the biggest thing that they're able to bring to the team, and especially the freshmen. Yeah, I, I mean, they're in the dorms, obviously, a lot of rules, a lot of regulations. Um, I, I think they've been great. They've really found ways, like we talked about uh, earlier, to, to connect, to get to know each other. They're from all over the world. Uh, and I think the upperclassmen, especially those seniors, have, you know, they, they sometimes when you're a senior, it's hard to remember what it's like when you were a freshman just because it was a while ago. But they've done an excellent job of, of really trying to connect the upperclassmen to the freshmen. Uh, well, I think up front we have the twins, uh, Morgan and Allie Trimper. They're from Bangor. They're pretty well known in the area. And uh, freshmen last year coming out of prep school, they had a good year. Um, but I think this year they're definitely going to be relying on more. They're very fast. They're tenacious. They played at Bangor High for a few years before they went to prep school. So they, they know the physicality of the boys' game. Uh, so we're very we're looking for them to to step up big. And then uh, we have three returning D who are who are all sophomores this year. Uh, and they've they played in some 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 big games and some big roles, but this year they're going to be relied on if we're going to have any success. So that's Ella McLean, uh, Nicole Payman, and um, Amelia Anderson. Did you have this year? Yeah, a oh, senior. senior. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's a junior because she's I guess she's coming back next year too. Okay, there we go. Um, but uh, no, we've we've been very lucky in that. Uh, you know, for for Lauren Porter, she's kind of been stuck behind Carly a little bit the last three years. She's played uh, in each of her first three years. She's had some really good wins, so she's had some shutouts. Um, you know, I think if Carly wasn't here, she would. She has no problem being a starting goalie at the Division One level. So, you know, we're going to rely on her, and, and she's, she's definitely ready for this opportunity. Um, but Jordan Madison and Anna LaRose uh, have come in pretty seamlessly and fit into our culture. They've worked hard, and and Lauren's been a really good mentor, and I think it's going to be a really good trio this year. Yeah, I think for, for them, their, their identity is definitely their work ethic. Um, you know, I would say none of them really came in and just had an amazing freshman year or just stood out right away in practice. Like, there was some skill there and we knew there was some talent, but they've all hit their bumps. And uh, I think with that junior class, they're all impact players now and it's because they've kind of went through that adversity from their own game you know whether it's some of the Europeans learning to play the North American style or getting used to it or um, you know Allie Johnson and Allie Belts you know coming from the Midwest and learning to play the college level and learning to fit into the culture of our team so um, it's it's been a really impactful class and, and really proud of kind of how they've developed and looking for big things out of them this year. Yeah, no, I think with Teresa, um, you know, I, I very rarely ever seen a player who can control the puck like that, who can control the play like that. And, you know, I think she was a large identity of kind of how we played in our team. Uh, and I think at times, you know, we, we obviously relied on her and she produced. Um, but I think too, you know, she, you know, she would miss some games, whether she was with the Czech national team 
or maybe an injury or something. And I think there's a sense that, you know, okay, well, she's not here anymore. She's not in the lineup. Like, we have to do this more collectively. We've got to figure out a way to create offense. We've got to figure out a way to score goals. We've got to figure out a way to control the puck. Um, so obviously a huge, huge hole to fill, a very dynamic player. Um, but I think, I think our team is kind of ready to take that next step and kind of pick up, you know, pick up what she left off.